Open your Bibles, which is your spiritual constitution. That is the word of the Lord. Your spiritual constitution. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verses 12 and 13. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 12 and 13. If you haven't saved man. The Lord shall Open unto you his good treasure, the heaven, to give the rain unto your land in his season, and to bless all the work of your hand, and you shall lend unto many nations, and you shall not borrow. And the Lord shall make you the head and not the tail, and you shall be above only, and you shall not be beneath Amen. if that you hearken unto thy commandments of the Lord your God which I command you this day to observe and to do them I want to talk from this subject how to be debt free reach over and tell somebody God, God. want you that comes to kill, steal, tear down, and destroy. And let me tell you something, my brothers and sisters, my dears and sirs, is that death is of the dead. All right. Many people have committed suicide because of their debts, because of their financial obligation. And let me put this in your spirit. If you have a financial problem, you need to check your spiritual problem. If you have a financial problem, you need to check your spiritual standard. Because if there is a financial problem with you, then there may be something wrong with your spiritual attitude. God wants you to be debt free. Debt is of the devil. Because when you have so many bills and you can't pay your bills, you can only live from payday to payday, you can only live from camp to camp, then it causes you to be stressful. Yeah. It causes dis-ease. Yeah. And watch this, dis-ease always brings on disease. Yeah. And disease is a form of sickness. God wants you to be debt free. When you have so many debts that you can't sleep at night, you worry how you're going to pay this bill, how you're going to pay that bill. That is of the devil. Let's go to St. John 10 and 10. St. John chapter 10, verse 10, where Jesus said, Be coming. What? Come for nothing but to steal, kill, tear down, and destroy. All debt is involved with the debt. It's connected to sin. I have read in the newspapers, as I've seen, I've seen on television, where families, where fathers kills his wife and children because of debt. A lot of men will put their wives in a $500 million life insurance policy and then kill her. Yes, so she, he can draw the insurance policy yeah. to pay off his debts. Right. Sometimes I watch forensic uh, science on television and see how these men have killed their wives and family because they was in so much debt they couldn't see their ways coming out, couldn't see themselves coming out. That's the devil. Yes, That's the devil. The devil works with that stuff. And God wants you to be free of that. He wants you to be free of that. Now let's read John 10 and 10. 
gifts from heaven. Yeah. So Stephanie, I want some gifts from heaven. Yeah. And God has all of these good <laughs> gifts in heaven, but how can I get God to open up the heavens for me? Yeah. Sometimes you can go to Walmart, they got sales on, and you buy stuff, but it might not be a good gift. Right. You, you can go down on Western Avenue and catch it and buy a car, and they said, uh, uh, no job, no money, no problem. Yeah. No credit, no problem. Yeah. You drive. Yeah. And then folks are like, oh Lord, bless me. You got, you got, it may not be no blessing. That's right. Because if you look at the interest rate, you may be paying 39% right. interest rate. Right. 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 And it's one pay. Yes, sir. And you go to bed at night, next morning, the car's gone. Is that a perfect gift? That's not a perfect gift. A perfect gift, God will bless you to make the note every month and you'll be on time. Come on. Amen. Amen. You don't have to hide your car. You ain't got to worry about it since somebody following you to properly the repossess your car. Every good and perfect gift comes from above. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Make no difference what kind of gift it is, Alan Kelly. If you marry, you got a good wife, thank God. If she come from heaven, you ain't got to be walking around the corner to see where she's going. Right. You ain't got to be saying, who you talking to on the phone? That's right. Hmm? Yeah. If you see her talking to somebody, you, can't, you ain't got to worry about it. What are you talking about? I saw, I saw you talking to her. How are you talking about it? And the good and perfect gift comes from the That's right. I don't have to worry about who my wife talking to. Because I consider her a gift from above. And she know I'm a gift from above. Mm -hmm. give it to us. Someone said that he has 10,000 blessings in his hand to give to the poor. Am I quoting that right now? Yes, sir. He has 10,000 gifts to give. To give. Just wait to give. And guess where they come from? They came from a heavenly gift. That's your name. Have you ever received a heavenly gift? Have you ever received a heavenly gift? Yes, sir. A heavenly gift. And if you have a heaven of gift, you got something. Yes, sir. You got something. Yeah. And, and women, don't be so quick to look for the feather with the curl of the hair. Oh, mm -hmm. Tall and handsome. Don't look for him, but he might not be from hell. Sometimes you get some big Negro directly from hell. Come on, talk to me. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. And man, listen, when you're looking for the lady. She's God's angel. Huh? Don't be looking for that because that might not be from heaven. But you ought to see God's gift from heaven. And if you see God's gift from heaven, you can live happily forever after. Alright. Hmm? Jesus said in St. John 10 and 10, said, for what the thief could for what? Somebody like that. All right. I don't want to have no dealing with Satan. Uh -huh. I want to stay as far from him as I possibly can. Say, right. people, you don't want to have dealing with. Amen. I wouldn't want to live next door to Drew Peterson. Yes, Do you? I, I wouldn't want to live next door to Jeff Ford. Mm -hmm. Come on, talk to him. Yes, I don't want to live next door to him. I don't want to live next door to no child molester. Come on. Yeah. You like to mess with little boys and little girls. I wouldn't feel safe around you. I wouldn't want my little grandchildren to be around you. I wouldn't trust you. Come on, talk to me. And then I don't let the devil rob people of their reputation and everything. And, 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 and you know, I know God can.
can save and forgive anyone. That's right. Yes, yes. But if God delivered you from something, you don't even tell everybody what God delivered you from. Yes. Something you got to keep it to yourself. Yes. Hmm? Yes. If you used to be a thief, then God delivered you from stealing. They said, God, I thank you for delivering me from stealing. Yes. But don't come to church and say, I was a thief and I used to steal. I used to pick people's pockets. It's going to ruin you for the rest of your life. 